And coming up next is the UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, this dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight, and it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts and there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape route, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom. Right. But his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half block. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup tonight. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 33 wins, nine losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Charles Dobrox Oliveira. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of seven wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Alex Poetai Pereira! All right, give me the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your clothes, not fight. So here's Charles Dubrox Oliveira as we get going here in round one. This is as accurate a submission threat as there has been in the history of the UFC. Patented upright stance for Charles Oliveira here. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going. Look for him to shoot on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Just out of range with that left hook. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Single collar tie there. Good 
throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. There he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step. Oh! Nice. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, now he's in trouble. Brilliant submission defense there. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, trying to pass here, but Kembe Matumbo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter who's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound would be a plenty from this position. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, the ground and pound is there. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. He's attacking arm bar now. Get a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Not tapping out tonight. Oh, really losing his reach advantage there with that man, DC. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Uh, rubber guard now, DC, some submissions at his disposal if he so chooses. Yeah, he does have a couple submissions. They're very rare submissions. Go, go, Plata, Omo Plata. But if the guy has any understanding of submission defense, he knows how to stay safe in this position. So there are advantages to being here. But the danger isn't so vast that you should handle. Yeah, we've only seen a handful of Omo Platas in UFC history. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Oliveira. All right, so next round is underway after he came very close to submitting his opponent in that previous round. He came very, very close to getting that finish, but he wasn't able to get that little extra squeeze to get the finish. But it's okay. Continue to try and put yourself back in those positions to get the job done. Big and kick. And he landed the right hand there. 
continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. What a punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Flush right hand is true. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come with me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. And they separate. It's such a fast leg kick. Good one. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Olivera's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And he comes through with a big knee. Right hand punch to the clinch. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Left hand punch to the clinch. Keeping busy here on the clinch with the knees. Boy, Ty Plum. Hard shots landing on both sides here. And they separate. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And there comes the separation now. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice strike. <laughs> Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Straight punch lands. Hug the kick. Nice, nice punch. Nice combination there by Oliveira. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Massive takedown the kick lands. Oh, look at this. Jumps over in the side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Maybe going with that Von Flu choke, or I guess we should probably call it the OSP at this point. of this young fighter. You could tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they matchmake him moving forward.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 22 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, Alex Politano All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened, man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.